Today we're looking at three different ways of adding text, animated assets, or pictures behind your subject in Premiere Pro. No funny business, we're not going frame by frame. We're focusing on workflow and pumping out as much content as possible. So let's go. Before doing this effect, obviously we need to set everything up. So first thing we're gonna do is drop the footage in the timeline. And as you can see here, I've got my raw camera audio that doesn't sound great. And then we've got the mic audio recorded separately that sounds spicy. And you just sync those up and then get rid of the video audio because we're not gonna need that. And now we've got a piece of content that looks like this. If you ever wondered how to do the word by word animation in Premiere Pro, I got you. Now, because it's an effect, we wanna use it as a spice, so don't go crazy with it. For this piece, I'm just gonna use it when I say I got you. Next, let's generate the subtitles. Go to the text tab and just make sure everything's correct and then go and create the captions. These are the settings I usually use for fast moving social media text. Next one you do is select all your text and go up to central graphics and make any adjustments like fill, font, stroke. And if you're posting on social media, you need to make sure you're in the safe zone. So that means you're not overlapping with any kind of icons or text all these different platforms have. And to offer a solution to that and all your social media needs, we've created the Social Media Creator Kit with over 40 drag and drop presets you can use on your subtitles and footage, safe zone guides for every platform out there, pop tags, sound effects from a 360 pack, a bunch of realty free tracks, and project files with everything nicely organized, ready for you to make a quick start on your projects. Find the link in the description. So I'm gonna grab the safe zone guide from the Social Media Creator Kit, drop it in the timeline, adjust the opacity, and just make sure we're all good. Now to add a bit of animation to your text, select all your text, go up to the graphics and title tab and upgrade your captions to graphics. Once that's done, select all those graphics generated and add some movement. I'm gonna go back into my social media creator kit and drop a Mr. Beast like animation. If you ever wondered how to do the word by word animation, now to add the text behind me. Create another track, chop the video clip and duplicate it by pressing option and dragging up. The first way which works well as a quick solution is to mask around the subject on the first frame and then let Premiere animate the mask path by pressing play. You can be a bit rough with this one and then adjust the feather, add another track and we're gonna sandwich the text in between here. We'll change the animation effect just to make it a bit different. Let's go with some flicker and there you go. If you ever wondered how to do the word by word animation in Premiere Pro, I got you. Now the second way I would prefer 99% of the time is select your duplicate and replace it with an After Effects composition. Now, don't be scared, we're not doing too much in After Effects. We're just gonna rotoscope the subject, which is ridiculously easy, and in my opinion, a lot cleaner. Double click on the video and then draw your subject with a green brush. Most of the time, After Effects will get it pretty clean, but use a red brush by holding Option to get more detailed and just cut out what you don't need. When you're happy, press Freeze and that will render everything in place. Save it and that'll automatically update the composition in Premiere. So you can always go back to After Effects, make any changes needed, save it, and it'll show up in your timeline. Add the text in between, add the flicker, and there you go. If you ever wondered how to do the word by word animation in Premiere Pro, I got you. Now the third way and definitely the easiest, and I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this one, is exporting the whole video without the text and uploading it to Adobe Express. Now, it's got this feature you can automatically remove the background. It's pretty quick and fairly accurate depending on the video. You can probably get a bunch of clips done really quick. The only thing is that what you get is what you get. You can't make any further adjustments. We'll go ahead and add a green screen to the background so we can remove it in Premiere. Download it and then drop it straight into your timeline. Line it up. We're gonna look for the ultra key effect. Use the color picker and select the green and that'll just remove it. Use the sandwich technique and there you go. If you ever wondered how to do the word by word animation in Premiere Pro, I got you. For a full guide of how to create and animate captions in Premiere Pro, click on this video next. Enjoy.